John Jacob's iconic book, Practical Golf, from which was drawn when I was a boy, almost verbatim the material for apprentices in the PGA, said that the address position uh, was an indicator of how to aim by paralleling the shoulders particularly, but all of the pairs, the toes, knees and hips as well, parallel to the intended line of flight. Now he also thought that you could aim the club face and the shaft. And what he meant by that was, as you can see in the picture, that you can have the club square. And what that means is that the base of the club, the, the cutting edge and all the lines on the face are perpendicular to the intended line of flight, particularly if it's on flat ground. And that the uh, shaft of the club at the top of the swing was another indicator. It would be pointing uh, along that same line. Now we don't have to look too far afield with the modern champions to see exceptions uh, to that idea, but it's a great starting position. There are golfers, uh, John Rahm comes to mind, where the club is what they call laid off, where the shaft is actually pointing substantially to the left of the target. There are others like Matthew Wolf and formerly a wonderful golfer, Miller Barber, uh, who had the club pointing and even Bryson DeChambeau to the right of the target at the top of the swing, what they call across the line. Now, uh, yes, the majority have it more on plane, as they say, and more square, which is with the shaft paralleling the target line. But they all have a commonality, and this was developed in, I think, he could have done more with it, but he developed it, Jack Nicholas, in his great golf uh, book, Golf My Way, which was very influential for me, about a half generation after practical golf, where he demonstrated quite clearly that no matter what you did on the backswing, as you approach the ball, all champions, he illustrated uh, Bobby Jones himself and uh, Gary Player, I think, where everybody is in the same position. And I think he, uh, it would be interesting to think of it just a tick farther into the swing. The golf club, as we swing it through, is maximizing its power. That's the intention. And therefore, the centrifugal force is the greatest at this point where the club has gone through the ball. And this is a prime example of where everyone is and where everyone should be trying to get to. The club is pulling as far from your neck as possible and uh, you're fully extended, but your head is what they call behind the ball, a little ambiguous, but it means with the head counterbalancing the pull of the club. If you think of a shaft, it's heavier here and longer here, but lighter. And so it balances here. Well, there's an equivalent with the body. The upper part, let's say the shoulders and head, are the heavy end, or the club end here. The pivot is about where the sternum is, and the club is the other end of this balanced item. And so as you swing through, your head will actually dip down in this fashion to balance with the club going through the ball. And all champions, regardless of what they've done up here, are passed through the ball in this position. After that, whatever naturally occurs, but that is an absolute with all champion golfers.